Good day guys, so today we're going to solve this problem using parallelogram law. Let's read the problem. Determine the magnitude of the resultant force and its direction measured counterclockwise from the positive x-axis. So what we need to find guys on this problem is the magnitude of our resultant force and its direction guys measured counterclockwise from the positive x-axis. So this too is what we need to find. So before that guys, let's plot our forces on our x and y axis. So this is now our forces on our x and y axis. Now let's label this guys as our force 1. That is 800 pounds. And at the bottom, let's label this as our force 2. That is 500 pounds. Before we can find the value of our resultant force, we need first to draw our parallelogram. So guys, from the tip of our force 1, let's draw a parallel line of the force 2. So since this is parallel to our force 2, so that is also 500 pounds, which is equal to our force 2. And from the tip of our force 2, let's draw the parallel line of the force 1. So this is also 800 pounds pounds. Now that we have the parallelogram, we can now draw the resultant line. So from the tip of our forces goes to the tip of the parallel lines. This is our resultant force. So let's go back to the question guys. What we need to find is the resultant force and its direction measured counterclockwise from the positive x-axis. So this line right here is our x-axis and we go counterclockwise to the resultant force so this angle right here is what we need to find and that is our theta but before that we need to determine the interior angles of our parallelogram so this time guys we may not be able to identify the value of this angle guys but we can find the uh, value of this angle right here guys since this is a right angle right here guys so that is 90 degrees and we already have the value of 40 degrees so let's subtract 90 minus 40 and that is 50 degrees so the value of our angle right here is 50 degrees now let's use the properties of a parallelogram to determine the other value of the interior angles so guys, the property of a parallelogram guys, opposite angles are equal. So there are four interior angles. 1, 2, 3, and 4. Now to determine the value of this angle right here, we can simply add 50 plus 35. And that is 85 degrees. Now opposite angles are equal. So this angle right here is also 85 degrees. And the total interior angle of a parallelogram is equals to 360 degrees. So let's subtract that to 85. So 360 minus 2 times 85 degrees and let's divide it by 2. Since the remaining angles, this one and this one are equal. And let's label, and let's label that guys as our angle A and also this one angle A so so the value of our angle A is equals to 95 degrees so this is 95 and also its opposite angle this is also 95 now guys by looking at our parallelogram the resultant line which is this red line divided our parallelogram into two congruent triangles so let's use this top triangle guys in getting the value of the magnitude of our resultant force. So let's draw that again. So this is our triangle and let's copy the values. So this is angle 95 degrees. This side right here is 800 pounds which is our force 1. And this is our force 2 which is 500 pounds. And this is our resultant force. Now guys, by looking at our triangle to determine the magnitude of our resultant force, 
we can use the law of cosine since we have side side and one angle so let's use the law of cosine so fr squared is equals to 800 squared plus 500 squared minus 2 multiplied by 800 multiplied by 500 cosine 95 degrees and let's square root both sides to cancel the squared on our resultant force so resultant force is equals to 979.66 pounds and that is how guys we can get the magnitude of our resultant force and now let's get the value of our theta so in finding the value of our theta guys we must first get the angle right here and that is also the angle right here so let's get that value guys let's label this one as our angle B so by looking at our triangle guys we can now use the law of sine in determining the angle B so sine B over its opposite side that is 500 pounds is equals to sine 95 degrees over its opposite side that is the value of our resultant force that is 979.66 so we can get the angle B is equals to arc sine 500 multiplied by sine 95 over 979.66 so angle B is equals to 30.56 degrees and let's remember guys that this value is not the direction of our resultant force clockwise from the positive x-axis the 30.56 is only on this angle right here now guys let's find the value of our theta and we can easily get its value guys so let's just subtract guys so this angle right here is already 50 degrees so let's subtract 30.56 now we can find the value of theta so our theta is equals to 50 degrees minus 30.56 so theta is equals to that is 19.44 degrees so that is how we can get the value of our resultant force from the positive x-axis counterclockwise